Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, we're playing some term today with his new fixed axe. I've seen him quite a bit more after the patch, and from what you guys have told me, it feels significantly better. I haven't tried it yet myself, it's going to be a first impressions, but it does definitely seem to feel very different from what I've tested on the target practice, and from what I've gone against of term. I'm going to just run the standards with the setups, I'm not going to bother tweaking these, there's no real reason to go and change anything with the way that you already had it set up. It basically just fixes the weirdness of his axe, and makes him feel more consistent, especially when you're playing aggressively which is how much we'll play term, obviously. All right, so for game one, we've got TDM Snowfall. I feel like I've been doing a little bit too much TDM recently, so I'll stop that for a little bit. We've got a Vatu, Strix, Fury, and Dredge versus Sky, Anora, the Anpip, and Zin. For the talent, didn't really talk about it, but Undying is definitely a default. These two definitely do work, but I would put Undying a little bit above those for most scenarios, and then we'll just run the standard sort of setup where you hold your charges and everything. We'll go double nimble to start, which might not be the right thing to go for. No Strix. Why have there been so many AFKs in my games lately? AFK is kind of the wrong word. I mean disconnects, but we've got Abyss Spike, Exterminate, Aneering, Hell, Hello, the Anna. I probably should have played around that a little bit better. That's going to be annoying. Uh, there's the Q, though. Bit of a weird delay there. We'll just um, F and then get some weird momentum carry. That kind of worked. That wasn't really what I wanted to do, but don't know what's going on, but it definitely seems that more people are getting disconnected, like loading in lately, at least the past couple of videos, but the axe already feels significantly better. Just from like the very little I've used of it already, you can really tell the way it works isn't the same as it did before. And I don't know why it took them so long to sort of change it. I'm not sure exactly what made them do it in this update and not any of the other ones, but I just empty the charges there to get some damage. Sky seems to be back. Uh, that was a bot. I just got wrecked by a sky bot. Let's get some armor painting, finish off our nimble. There's just a kill on Strix. Not Strix, it's a Zin. And I also didn't even kill him the first slash because he had his little counter weirdness. There's a hits on the pip. Yeah, you can really, really feel it when you're pushing on people like that. It's really hard to sort of describe, but if you played turn before, even a semi speedy setup and even semi aggressively with turn, which is, I think, the way most people pick him, I don't know why they're all running left, uh, you really do pick up on it. And it's really hard to describe, like, how the feeling is. It just feels correct. And before it felt kind of broken, I'm just going to go for the ultimate history away i don't know what is going on here with the team i just got insta polymorphed and i got weird movement and also just somehow didn't die uh, there's a f on him he's gone i'm just gonna keep the charges up here and play super aggressively we've got a ton of damage reduction i'm not really too worried about the slow Ceres or not Ceres furia i might still be dead where's the heals it is just a solo here furia so i guess i shouldn't expect heals too much that was a pretty brutal slow and she should be gone one last little right click i missed it treasure's got me covered anyway you can definitely see why you guys in the comments were telling me that i needed to you know make a full video on this because i didn't think it would be that big i knew it would be really important and the people who love term you know they'd feel it but i don't think just from one game straight away i'd be able to tell wow the axe just kind of works it doesn't feel like there's server jank on the axe all the time like it kind of did before and i think the other thing with it is that you could technically probably run a little bit less speed in a setup now and like play a little bit slower with time just because you don't get as punished for being a little bit slower because you can actually kind of chase and stuff i know i'm not really playing with a team here but furious seems to just walk into four of them i know i'm you know sort of walking into them a little bit as well and they are very grouped but it's sort of a solo thing here the axe just feels yeah so much goddamn better i'm gonna go for the auto i think she used her wall already right yeah so not going to get anything other than the Zin. That's an our ultimate. We we'll go for the slow on the sky and just slash away. I feel like it's so easy to hit people now compared to before. Like that reach on that axe, you would have never had before. It's so hard to get this across because it probably just looks like I'm playing term normally. But the feel on it, it really is better and it has so much more reach than before. I can't make words sense. Yes, Strix is gone. Not Strix, Pip. Why do I want to keep saying Strix for everybody? I feel like I have to be a little bit more accurate with the axe, though, even though it's easier to hit. I feel like I actually have to sort of aim a little bit better. I still hit that Leanne somehow. Could have probably ended up with a couple more kills there, but Leanne just cleaned up. More armor plating. The game is over, by the way, 20 to 34. We're not winning it. Bit of a tough game to show the setup off, though, because they're not really firing into me enough to get stacked up easily. Let's just rush down the pip. Definitely noticed this change on the other end as well, going against the turn. I feel like you guys must have as well. It really does feel different going against him because he can play uh, quite a bit differently than he was before and actually push you way more than it felt like he could. Even though he's not necessarily any faster, the axe just has so much more reach and feeling of reach. I did before. What am I doing? Where, where is everybody? There is the defeat. A bit of a tough scenario for Term. I don't really feel like TDM Snowfall is a great place to show him off. We'll requeue, of course, and do a game two. There are the stats. We actually have pretty damn good damage, highest other than the other one who went kind of massive there. All right, so for game two, we've got a Siege to Timmermill. Much more borders and stuff going on here. We've got a Charlene, Eminence of the End, a God's Blessing, Defiant Fist, Andro, and Io. Fire disposition is going to be a bit of a pain, Comet Medic, although it's definitely nowhere near as bad as it was. Going to get armor plating and a nimble. Eternal is kind of interesting, Comet Medic and Blast Flower. I'm a little bit scared of Blast Flower Willow and a uh, Defiant Fist and Let's go run and just play the point. Uh, I feel like this is kind of tough on turn, but if Luna's here, I think we should be alright. Throw a little cheeky right click. Don't know really what I'm doing here, but we absorbed a ton. We're pretty much full stacks already. I'm a little bit too far up, but we're just going to push Io here with a speed buff. That was kind of insane. Just got like a massive power spike the second she hit me with it. I felt like I was zooming. Uh, do I push the pip? I feel like we totally push him here, right? I was not even holding the axe because I thought I'd be out of range, but. We actually could kind of hit him. He's jumping away. That was totally fine. We scared the pip away. Let's just jump up here. Actually managed to land the F there. Sort of all right. Weird 
a knock, I think, from the Azama. I didn't take the damage from it, I think. Gotta say, I went massive there with the heals. There's a slow on the Willow. Yeah, she was just blasting away. She can hover, which is kind of a pain, but surprisingly, not too much of an issue, mainly because the team is just going huge. I don't really know what else to say. Like I said, it was a bit of a stacked siege when we were loading in. Not necessarily on our side, just like a game with people who know what they were doing. And uh, it seems like the fights are somehow going in our favor. The F away. What the hell is going on with rubber banding lately? I have no idea. When Levin knocks or like pushes happen, it just sends everything kind of funny. Don't know what Andrew and Charlene were doing there right in the middle. Let's just push the Andrew. Um, sure, miss the slash, which empty the charges. Might as well. It's kind of a good scenario to use it and we can stack up a little bit. I am so slow though whenever I pull that cube but I'm not stacked. Don't know what happened with the end there getting kind of stuck on the door, but we absorb some stacks. I really do have to give props to this IO. I'm noticing a heals like a crazy amount. Plus the speed, she really went for a setup here to combo with me. I don't know if she specifically went for that or that's just a normal one, but the speed here on IO is like super useful. I feel like I can actually just duel the Azam without too much trouble. Let's push the Betty who's been kind of free in this one she's played very aggressively i have the ultimate do i go for it here uh, i was healing me i don't know if this is a spot to go for it i guess it is but he's gone i don't know why she's lingering like that the azan's there pips on the top we're gonna f for the slow on him i think he's got his movement anyway yep that's sort of fine do i push here i guess i feel so fast the andro's just standing afk pip ulted and didn't hit me there uh, Zahn's dead uh, slashes and damage reduction plus the team it's just kind of free. I don't know what happened with the Andro, but uh, I think he might have crashed. Definitely going to be taking pretty much all the damage from direct hits because we can absorb the Willow Q or the Betty Right Click. So it is just the, you know, in hand stuff that's going to be kind of annoying. The speed we have when the IO is healing us plus, like, you know, it's just the kit. It's kind of crazy. Betty's ulting. Uh, the F didn't really work at all. I don't know how it would have possibly aimed that. Leanne just lining him up because for some reason they were stacking. Azan's here. I guess we chase him down. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of delaying his death. But I will say the axe is miles better. Significantly more so than I expected. I know I've said that a ton of times already, but it really does feel miles better than I thought it would. And this is a really big improvement to how turn feels to play. I imagine it might feel even better on controller somehow. But on PC, though, sometimes when you're chasing people on turn, it just felt like your axe was not reaching. It had to be so close to people to actually get the damage there. Andrew did DC, which is kind of a shame because it's a 45. But now the axe actually feels like the animation and the reach that you should have it feels way more consistent that's the real word i would use for it is consistent compared to before where it felt like debuffed when you were pushing compared to when you were playing like defensively kind of guarding and stuff with it i don't know how to really word what i mean but i think you get it but there we go there's the four zero massive props to the team these guys absolutely carried it i didn't even die once there surprisingly i wasn't playing you know great but the io was so it sort of worked out anyway our damage is surprisingly the highest there I think that's just because I was heading into the Azan. The team was wiping so much, they didn't really have space to get numbers, but yeah, these guys did great. Even if the Andro was there, I think we would have had it. He was there for, I think, at least half of it, but it was really kind of uneven. The game looked pretty even from loading in, but somehow uh, we just went massive. I don't really know what to say. I was specifically there. Her heels with term just slashing away felt kind of crazy. It really is just way better, and it feels way better. It actually is if you have reach, and the axe is pretty consistently working the way you would hope it to. There wasn't one time there where I would have the thing that you have on term, or you used to have on term now, where you just sort of swing it and not hit the person you thought you'd be able to hit because the reach just didn't feel right because of how the axe worked, and they fixed it. And yeah, absolutely massive props to the devs for fixing it. I don't know how much, obviously, effort it was to, you know, change it from how it was before to how it works now, but it's just a million times better, and if you played him before, maybe you didn't like how the axe felt. This really does change it. Of course, he is still Terminus, obviously, but the main difference is if you're playing him in the way that it sort of feels as if he's intended to be played with a team buffing your speed and super aggressively absorbing damage, playing timers and stuff, the axe really is important to his kit for gaining the meter and dealing damage, which is obviously the main thing you want to be doing. And that's so much better because of this. Such a small change, massive impact on him. Although depending on how you play him, you might not notice it as much if you're playing around like the meter and the right click setup specifically and really defensive, you could maybe not notice it in like a handful of games. But I think most people within like two matches, you can really feel the difference, especially with some of the setups. But that's where I'm going to leave it. I yapped quite a bit in this one. I don't know how I managed to cut it down. I suppose we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.